So land is very important. In fact, you'll see wars now being fought on the issue of land. So, sir, we just want to stress the importance of land, and especially for a small community uh, of Meghalaya, hardly 30, 35 lakhs, and as stated by some of the members, 76 percent of the people are landless. Sir, I just want to give some suggestion. For example, now, if an entity that wants to set up industrial unit here, we have to study carefully the, you know, the area of land that they require. For example, now, if it is required only 10 acres or 10 hectares, why would we give more than that, sir? So I think it's very serious. Yes, uh, we need investments for the interest of the state, but at the same time, see that alienation of land is not happening because of development, because development at the cause of alienation of land defeats the very purpose of bringing the investment, sir. Sir, now I want to, that is one point. Another point is, sir, for example, now if we've leased out lands for mining or for any other purpose, now if the land is degraded, in the literal sense of the meaning, sir, that is not land alienation. But the land has become useless for any other purpose later on. Suppose now the lease ends. So, sir, I would like to suggest when we give lands on lease for mining or for any other purpose, ensure that land degradation is not there. Because land degradation, in the literal sense of the meaning, is not land alienation, sir. But if the land cannot be used for any meaningful purpose, that is worse than alienation, sir. You have large tracts of land degraded that which cannot be used for any meaningful purpose, whether for, you know, agriculture or for anything. So, sir, I think some amendments should be made to ensure that those who have been given mining lease also take, you know, um, to ensure that the land is reclaimed, reclamation of land in the sense, in the, uh, you know, in the sense of afforestation or ensure that the land rehabilitation, reclamation of those, uh, you know, degraded land. Because if huge tracts are degraded, it's as good as eliminated, sir. So it cannot be used for any meaningful purpose. So I think this motion is very, very important, rehabilitation, reclamation, and of ensure that the land that has to be leased out to any entities that want to set up any units, be it hospital, be it industry, be it anything, you know, ensure that the land that is exactly required is leased out. Otherwise, you know, you have huge tracts of land where they set up residential uh, complexes. So it's like, you know, renting out, I mean, giving land to them to set up, uh, you know, residential complexes, you know. So these are some of the suggestions. So I support that the government ensure, you know, we just have about 22,000 square kilometers of land. And then with the encroachment of Assam, maybe I don't know how much land we've lost. So exactly, sir, if you do a proper survey by the revenue department, maybe our area of land will not will be less than that. So ensure that as, you know, members of this house, ensure that, you know, we protect this, you know, valid, valuable property uh, land from being alienated from the people of the state. With these few words, Mr. Chairman, sir, I resume my seat. Thank you. Sir. Uh, I just wanted to thank you, Chairman, sir. Sir, I do support the mover of the motion. This nas how discuss the land alienation <coughs> in the state of Meghalaya and its impact. Sir, land is our religion and land is our identity. Amid the shortage of land and the other resources caused by the alienations, it's causing a lot of damages within our state. Within, uh, within our people. Mr. Speaker, sir, I just wanted to point a few areas, like uh, as already stated by our Honorable um, MLA, uh, Leader of the Opposition. Uh, when we, whenever we take land in the name of development, we take more than what is required. Now, for example, in William Nagar, for the township, they have taken more land what is required. And now the clan whom they have already given or allotted to the government, the government has taken more land what was given. Now the clan from that particular area, the particular clan was trying to reclaim back all those lands 
which was already you know encroached by the government department and they have already applied for the uh, file a case even in the uh, even in the high court whereas high court has already given the order to dc william nagar for ramifications or to you know reorganize the conduct to survey but till then they have not done so so to you mr speaker sir i would like to request since the high court has given the order to you know re uh, resurvey the whole area uh, whatever is given to the government if it can do so at the earliest that will benefit the uh, you know people from that area because nowadays in william nagar they don't have a place to stay they have become a landless as stated by one of our mla now since since the land is our identity in our culture now one of our members from the uh, treasury he was talking about the nokmas also now our government is, it seems like taking the power and functions of the nokmas also though they are the head and the they own the land of that particular clan but yet they are not having the power after few development program that is happening within that area within our meghalaya not only in meghalaya other parts of the country also but here what we can see is that the power of nokma is vanishing now any program that is held within his area you need not have to take the permission anymore and then for any development without the authorization from the nokma you know the bdo the apo they are going and then giving some kind of a threat and then some kind of a you know uh, uh, you know uh, giving them some kind of a uh, uprising with some kind of uh, consequences and then trying to take in the name of development also through bac so these are the areas i want the government to look into seriously so that in the future the power and functions whichever they used to uh, uh, have the privilege at least it should go back to them now again mr speaker sir now whenever we mortgage a land in the name of loans this is one of the area now whenever government takes any land from any individual on lease basis and if they cannot repay back they seize the land but according to the land transfer act they cannot do so but the banks and the department they are seizing them especially in the tribal areas so if this again can be addressed by the government look into seriously i think it can solve certain areas where our people are losing our land right now even in the villages they don't have a proper area a proper places where they can you know uh, do any such kind of plantations or any kind of uh, livelihood for their own people so i would like to support the mover of this motion by at least the government should take it seriously about the land alienation any lease or any for any development whichever is given should be taken seriously and then specially for the uh, leasing out the land specially for the mortgage for giving the loan and all if the government can you know uh, filter it seriously then maybe we can take back few of those lands which is already been taken by the government and then few other agencies also with this few word mr speaker sir i resume my, resume my uh, resume my seat by supporting the mover of the motion